So I just wanted to show you something that really confused the heck out of me when I was first learning how to use the Adobe suite of products. And that is how Adobe draws lines um, because it was really counterintuitive for me. And so it took a lot of frustration and uh, trial and error before I figured it out. So if I could help uh, lessen that learning curve for you, uh, I would love to do that. Right now I'm in After Effects, but the the commonalities across the entire suite uh, are fairly consistent. So uh, Premiere Pro, After Effects, Illustrator, all of that. Whenever you're drawing a line using the pen tool, Photoshop, uh, these, large, these largely are going to be consistent from one to the other. So I'm in After Effects. Uh, another helpful thing is if you want to actually drag the thing you're moving around, if you hold down the space bar, let me do it here. That. Hold down the space bar and that will bring up the hand and then you can drag it around without messing with it. Uh, mouse wheel typically will zoom in. So I'm going to grab the pen tool here and I'm going to create, uh, I'm in After Effects so I'm creating a shape layer meaning I'm making sure that down in the composition here I don't have anything selected uh, and then I grab that and then I'm going to create my first dot then I create my second one and if I want it to be straight if I hold down the shift key when I do it it's gonna snap to a straight line as opposed to being completely freeform then I'm holding down the space bar dragging this over hold down the shift again and pop that's a straight line and it's kind of filling in the shape as we go here it doesn't always do that but in this case it does Pop, straight line, pop, straight line, and then pop, a straight line. So I've got this. That's fairly, so when I when I connected the last one, it, cre it actually created the shape. Uh, here's, here's the thing, though, that got really tricky for me is I've got straight lines, but what if I want to curve? Right now, in After Effects, I'm holding down the Alt key. Uh, Sometimes it's the control key, so that can be a little bit confusing, or on a Mac it would be the command key instead of control. But you want to get that little that little caret icon there, and if I click on that, it adds these things, which were really hard for me to understand at first. But if you grab this here and you pull it one way or the other, you can see that it's it's bending the line, it's creating a curve. If you drag it out, it affects the shape of the curve. If you drag it in, it affects the shape of the curve. And you can also see that this is a straight line on the other side too. So as I do this, it's going to do that. Now that's cool, but what if I don't want this to be curved? Well, then I'm going to I'm going to use the control and grab just this one and then I can move it independently. And once I've moved it independently once, it's going to stay independent. So now I can do this. Now I can do this curve or I can do it like this. And so what I'm wanting to do is one of these here and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And so this is creating kind of the curve I want. I'm going to bring this in a little more. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing and I need to drag that in because I want that to be straight. And I'm going to drag this in here. So this is kind of the look I'm going for. I want this thing to kind of curve down. Now I'm grabbing just this one. You see how this is hollow, this is hollow. Kind of hard to see when I'm zoomed out like that. But this one is filled in, but this little square is hollow and the other squares are all hollow. That means if I grab this, and I drag it over. I'm holding shift so that it won't go up or down while I'm dragging it. Then I can change the shape a little bit as I go. I'm going to zoom back out and move this over. And you can kind of see what I'm doing here. So this is how, this is really important understanding how these handles work and how to get the handles and, and how to get them to act the way you want. This took endless Googling and YouTube videos for me and much pulling of the hair when I was trying to figure out how these work. So I wanted to show you some of that, see if that makes your life a little easier. Um, like I said, you're going to find this 
not only when you're drawing pictures, but like for example, in Premiere Pro, a function I use all the time in mixing sound levels is using that on the actual audio clips. Uh, you can create these lines and the lines will create volume movements on a clip, uh, which I, I could show you at some other time. Anyway, so figured I wanted to show you that and maybe save you some headaches uh, for later. So enjoy.